Page 102, Romance. At the top of the page, introducing you to the flat sign. We've had sharp sign that takes it up half step. Flat sign takes it down half step. As far as remembering which sign does what, well, I think of a flat tire goes down, so a flat goes down, so that means the sharp has to go the other way, huh? The sign's a little weird looking thing. I don't know, it looks like a lowercase b or something, I'm not sure, but that's what it looks like. And it works exactly the same way a sharp does. It applies to that point on for the rest of the measure, just that measure in that staff, and then it goes away after the bar line. Let's look at this romance thing at the bottom of the page. In the third measure over you have, you're in this position here, because you started out here. So the, you have a B with a flat sign, so it's a B flat. So instead of the B with second finger, we use second finger on the B flat. And the other B is also a B flat, because it's in the same measure. And that's really the way it works. It's about it. There's nothing complicated about sharps and flats, sort of except for the disagreement on how they apply. So, four romance, four four time. Let's take both hands together here. Third hand, the third finger is here, and the right hand, when it comes in, it's here. So it, really, it's a middle C position because the thumbs are sharing middle C. So one thumb or the other might get it. We'll see. If the C's in the top staff, the right hand will get it. If the C's in the bottom staff, the left hand gets it. That's generally how it works. So at the beginning, it's a one, rest, three, rest, one, two, three. Remember, dotted half notes get three counts. They're the same as three quarter notes. So in four, four time, they get three counts. And then go on, then a B flat. Rest, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. See, here's a sample of both hands getting middle C. So both of those B's are flatted. That's really the way it works. Let's go down to the last line here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now eighth notes. Three and four and four. One and two and three. I went kind of fast. You don't have to go that fast when you're first working it out. And you'll probably hesitate here and there, and that's okay. But you need to practice those spots where you're hesitating to get rid of the hesitations because the beat needs to be steady all the way through. You can't be hesitating. And in this piece, because your hands aren't moving around, you should eventually be able to play it without looking at the keyboard also. Then we have this articulation. Not much, and they got some slurs. Just connect them. <laughs> Oh, at the top of page 103, the last two measures on these slurs. On two note slurs, we go down, up, down, up. The wrist leads it. Down, up, down, up. You don't have to play the second note real short. But it's separated, so it's a little... Like so. Now on the last line on page 103, here on the slurs. I, I don't agree with that. I would like to connect all those together. So I would draw that slur line over all three of those notes. So with the last two notes of the first measure and the first note of the next. So the last line. And I connect all these. Actually, I'd pretty much from the third beat of the first measure, I'd connect it all the way to the end. To me, that should all be connected together. That's, that's not what's written, but that's what I feel it should be. Now, a little bit about technique again. Remember, I use weight to help push the notes down. Well, if you look at the last two measures there on page 103, in the left hand, you're here, using the weak fingers. Again, I'm just transferring weight from finger to finger. Here to here, to here, to here, here, here. The motion is really a small one, but the point is I'm transferring the I'm not trying to hold the hand still, I'm trying to use the fingers to do this. I don't recommend it. So it's here. If you, eventually you get to where you can do this. You should do it in both hands. I mean you can mirror the hands here, so whatever you're doing here, you can do here. Pick a note. It'll sound weird because I'm mirroring the hands here. 
point is I'm working both hands, not just one. That's really the only articulation to speak of are the slurs. Dynamic wise, you're starting out moderately soft at the beginning, whatever that is. You'll have to decide what sort of soft is. And then at the end of the first line on page 103, you're coming down. You're shaping the phrase again. It's the end of a phrase, we come down at the end of a phrase. You don't even need that Earl to tell you come down. You just really should do it anyway. That's all. And at the last line, now you go up to moderately loud, just a little louder than you were. Tardando at the end, slow down and get softer. Go down to soft. It's, that's the end of the piece. Huh? Speed wise, peacefully, whatever that, that is. It's what speed do you go if it's peaceful? Depends on how peaceful you are. Two, three, four, one, two, three. To me, that's about how fast it should go, but maybe you're feeling a different peaceful than I am. Let's try this together slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do the dynamics, but I will do the slurs and all. I'll give us four counts. Let's try it together. One, two, ready, go. Rest, rest. Two, three. duet for this. I'd like to play that and you play what you just did but again you need to go up an octave. So just pretend middle C goes up an octave to here and instead of here you're here. So play it here. I'll give us four counts. Let's do it together. I will speed it up a little bit. One, two, ready, go.